Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going over the newly redrawn 2022 map for the state of Nevada. So Nevada's map has been redrawn where there is now one Republican leaning district, one Democratic leaning district, and two highly competitive districts in the state of Nevada. The old map had one solid Republican, one solid Democrat, and then two competitive. So this map has actually been redrawn so the map is less secure for both Republicans and Democrats, which is surprising. By the way, just for um, clarification, the Democratic Party did have full control over the redrawing of the Nevada 2022 map. But yeah, so this first district, or Nevada's 2nd district, which I'll be going from top to bottom, Nevada's 2nd district is held by Mark Amati, and it's a R plus 13 district. If you look at the old map, here it is, um, Amadi's old district was R plus 16. So from 16 to 13, only minus 3 is not too, too bad for the Republican Party. Nevada's 4th district is Democrat Stephen A. At, uh, Horsford, and it's a D plus 5 in the new map. The old map was a R plus 1. So this is where the biggest chain comes in that the Democrats benefit from, is this district is now D plus 5 which means Democrats are pretty much likely to win this um, one district, pretty much guaranteed. Where it gets really interesting is how they split up Las Vegas into Nevada's 1st District, 3rd District, and this, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little confused as to why the Democrats did this, because Nevada... I, I understand the thought process that by dividing it into a D plus 4 and D plus 2, uh, the Democrats think they'll be able to win both of these districts and there'll be three Democrats to one. But if you look at the old map, it was R plus 5 and D22. But that being said, the Democrats have held both House District 1 in the old map and House District 3 since 2018. They won it by about, what was that? Uh, 10 points? Yeah, they won it by about 9 or 10 points or so. And then in 2020, they won it by about 3. So, I don't, I mean, I guess it is an improvement for the Democrats going from R plus 5 and D22 into a D plus 2 and D plus 4. But is it really? Because instead of having one seat you know for a fact will be Democratic, you have two districts that are both within striking distance on a really good night. The Republican Party could win Nevada's first and third districts, and thus, plus Mark Amati's district will give Republicans a 3-1 to one advantage in Nevada, similar to how the Iowa map looks. So, the Democrats had a real opportunity to gerrymander Nevada, and they may have honestly tried to do it in Las Vegas, thinking by splitting Las Vegas in two, it would benefit them. I don't think it benefits them at all, if I'm being honest. Because, again, I just showed you, and I'll show you again. Amadi's district is going to be red no matter what. We know that. This district, with Horsford, I mean, I think it was going to be blue no matter what anyway. But they redistricted it to make sure. House District 3 will be very close for a while, but I don't see it really going red anytime soon. And House District 1, we know, will be blue for a long time. And then in 2020, things did get things did get closer. Excuse me, Armadi still won, Horsford still won, Lee still won, and then District Four or nope, District One. There we go. District One was still heavily Democratic. The Democrats had really no reason to split this up. Nevada did not gain or lose a seat. They kept the same number, and all they did by redoing this, honestly, was they made themselves weaker. Because, yes, you're guaranteed to hold on to the seat, but you're pretty much guaranteed to do that beforehand anyway. Mark Amati will still hold on to his seat. He was guaranteed to do that anyway. All you did was took a strength that you did have, which was, yes, Lee's district was a Republican partisan district, but she has won it three elect or two elections or three elections in a row now. I think it was two in a row. or three in a row. No, three elections in a row. And Susie Lee has won three in a row. And all you did was technically make the situation worse. Because maybe you gave Susie Lee a better shot at winning Nevada's third. But you've definitely hurt yourself with Nevada's first. 
because now you have two competitive districts when before you only had one. So on a really good Republican night, both of these seats can go red. This district, D plus five, can certainly go red. I think it's more likely to stay blue, but on a really good Republican night, the Democratic Party in Nevada may have set themselves up to lose three Democratic districts, or at very least two. And in a national environment, where the Republicans are currently polling at 46% and Democrats at 41.8%, that is not a good situation for the Democrats to be in. So, that being said, that is the Nevada uh, new Congressional House map, and I think if you've watched this whole video, you know what my thoughts are. And, you know, I'm not getting, I'm not getting mad at what the Democratic Party did, because, you know, I'm not picking sides, I am not a, I am not a Republican biased or Democratic biased view on this, I'm just telling you my honest political thoughts from an um, unbiased perspective. If you're a Democrat, I think you kind of shot yourself in the foot when it comes to this new map. Because you took three Democratic House seats, more or less, and you really gave it one Democratic House seat, and you're putting two more seats in heavy play for the Republicans in a 2022 year that's probably going to favor the Republicans by at least 5% at this point, which would be a 2014-like margin. So by Democrats trying to make their chances stronger in Nevada... In their own hubris, they might have ended up giving Republicans three seats in 2022. Now, does this mean the Democrats are going to be in trouble forever? No. I think in, say, 2024, which will more likely than not be more favorable to Democrats than 2022 will be, I could certainly see all three of these districts going blue again. So, I think this is one that will go back and forth, but at least for 2022, I think the Democrats made a pretty big mistake out of the state of Nevada and how they drew up this new map. So that's going to do it for today's video. Please leave a comment below telling me what you thought of this video and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel in the red subscribe box in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.